hiring for a ghost kitchen. When you're hiring for a ghost kitchen, you may receive applications from candidates who aren't even eligible for the job. Basically, the candidates don't understand the uniqueness of this industry and they think it's similar to the restaurants. Therefore, when you ask them some questions related to the ghost kitchen, they can't answer them properly. Similarly, they can't pass the test when you ask them to show their skills. Things to follow when you're hiring for a ghost kitchen. We've brought some important tips for ghost kitchen owners that are facing trouble with hiring employees for the ghost kitchen. With these tips, you'd be able to find the best employee for each position. So, let's take a look at the tips. Recruitment is underway for 1,000 newly created positions for SBE's C3, Creating Culinary Communities, subsidiary. As part of the opening of food halls in 138 ghost kitchens before the end of the year, C3 is hiring across the entire organization. Half the jobs will be in the Los Angeles area plus New York City, Las Vegas, Miami, and San Francisco. Candidate Persona Candidate Persona is one of your basic needs when you're hiring for a ghost kitchen. The candidate persona needs to be a little bit similar to the customer persona. It describes the qualities of the employee that can be perfectly suitable for the job. You may take help from your existing employees to create a candidate persona. If you don't have any employees at the moment, you may check the hiring process of other ghost kitchens to define the qualities of employees that can be suitable for a position. Once you've prepared a well-written candidate persona, you'd be able to create a description for each job position. Write a detailed job description. When you're writing the job description, you need to mention all the important skills you're expecting to have in your employees. The reason why ghost kitchen owners receive applications from ineligible candidates is that they don't describe the job properly. It's really important to describe that you're hiring employees for a ghost kitchen and not for a restaurant. We also recommend describing a few qualities of the ghost kitchen so that the applicants may make a wise decision while applying for the job. Provide them proper training. No matter how hard you try, it's really difficult to find the ideal candidate for the job. Even if the candidate is experienced enough to handle the job, you might have to provide them with some training so they may not create a mess. However, the benefit of hiring an experienced person is that they can better understand the complexities as compared to a newbie. Prepare the operations manual. The operations manual must be one of your major considerations when you're hiring for a ghost kitchen. It helps with providing proper training to the employees without even wasting your time. It also describes the problems employees would have to face on different occasions. The operations manual will also help you with achieving your future goals. Therefore, you must make some effort to prepare a detailed operations manual for your ghost kitchen. Where you can find the right candidates. It's one of the most important things you need to understand when hiring for a ghost kitchen. There are several ghost kitchen job sites where you can publish your ad to find the right candidate. Some websites offer free services while others charge a fee for publishing your ad. Similarly, you can place an ad on social media to find the best person for the job role.